What's up everybody, welcome back to another showcase here on World of Kraals. Today, I am back with another really cool build to show you, just right behind me right there. But right now, I am in the very nice developed area of Tungsten here in Arcania. That's the name of the map. And as you can see, there's a lot of pretty cool houses around here, a lot of cool recreational stuff. It's a pretty nice house right there. But right now, what I'm going to show you guys is right what is right in front of me right here. Now this here is a church, and you know it's a pretty funky looking church. It's not really what comes to mind, especially you know compared to the churches that I feature on this channel. You know, you when when, when church comes to mind, it's usually very stone oriented, very gothic. But this here, it's it's a pretty lovely church. Now this is more of one of those traditional local churches that might be in your neighborhood or your community, and it's a pretty pretty nice one. So this build was built by J.P. Dillon, very, very talented builder on here, very well known. And as you can see, this build just has a lot of stuff going on, with the landscape and exterior. It's pretty, pretty bland top, but as you can see on the sides, it's got all the detail. So we're just going to fly around the exterior and take a look at what's going on here. But as you can see, there's a pretty big plot of land here. But yeah, so this is actually a design by the architect known as George F. Barber. I showcased a ton of his houses way back when. But as you can see, there's a lot of... You know, I could see some of the Victorian sort of details that are going on. But in the front, which is where most of the detail is, you got your stained glass windows that are double thick. As well as the really cool rose. This is a pretty nice rose window here. Pretty solid. Especially for the space here. One thing JP really knows how to do is to work with the space he has. Which is something that you really need to know when you're a builder. So yeah, that's pretty much the front here. Now, as you can see on the side over here. This is actually part of the entire sort of compound here. Well, first of all, you got these really lovely trees. Really nice JP trees here. But we got this house here. Now this is what I believe JP called an erectory or something like that. Now this house here is actually owned by the priest or the person that runs this church over here. So they live over here. I'm not sure if it's actually connected in any way, but it's connected in, this, in the fact that this is one big l plot of land. So we're going to check out the church first because that's the whole main part of this build. And if we have time to, we'll zoom around that other part. But here you have a pretty big towering church structure. And we're going to go right into the entrance. So, St. Charles Roman Catholic Church by George F. Barber. And built by J.P. Dillon. So, we're going to walk right inside. Got this pretty cool little entrance area. Now in here, and I'm using really good bright shaders for this, but... You got a huge ceiling with rafters. And those are pretty cool rafters. I'm just going to fly up here. Just take a look at that. That's pretty cool. That's one detail that you don't see every day, and I, I think that's a really, re you know, I really think that amplifies the realism on this build. Because as you can see, you know, it's not just straight rafters, it kind of digs into the roof, and you can actually see, you know, you can see that this could realistically be a thing. So you got these, these are really nice lamps too, that's really cool. Now, I think I like about this is whenever I build a church, you know, like I said before, it's very gothic, just like, have you ever seen Islemore that I built? It kind of has the same, you know, it incorporates the same feeling, yet it's more a suburban feeling. Rather than, you know, very religious, sacred kind of feeling. But I really like this sort of the, you know, sort of vibe that you get in this place. But as you can see, you got a little chair here, and you got the book. And you got a, a few other chairs here. This pretty much the whole setup. One thing I did notice as well is that you got this really, really detailed sort of carved ornate woodwork over here. No entry. Eh, I'll go in anyways. Pull candles. Alright, so up here. That's pretty weird. Alright, up here you got the pretty nice rose window. Now, realistically speaking, if you ever see this in real life, this would probably be ten times more like ornate and stuff like that. But George F. Barber, when it comes to interior, he's very, very, very detailed. A lot of smaller work that you probably can replicate in Minecraft, but everything's here. So pretty solid room, pretty solid room, and I believe there's more into the back. As you can see, uh, that is a door? That is a door, okay. So back here you got this room. And this is, oh, so this is like either 
I think maybe like a classroom or more like a Sunday school room sort of place. Not sure. It's pretty neat. I kind of I like this area too. So yeah, this is uh pretty much the entire church. Not a lot of rooms to go to. I guess we have a little time to zoom in through the rectory over there, but just take a look, just a very slow look at some of the detail that goes into these builds. Whenever you're building a build, this is the kind of stuff that you need to look at. The very small things, because the very small things are the type of things that sort of make and break a build. Like, you know, the stained glass to these rafters here, as well as the lighting as well. Lighting, especially when I use shaders, really gives another sort of depth to the build. So we're going to go to the next building, actually, and take a look there. Now, JP was nice enough to include just another full building. Now, I believe this this does look like another George of Barbara. Let's take a look here. Okay, so it's called, yeah, Rectory. Uh, Catalog House. So, I'm guessing JP just found a regular house from George of Barbara's wonderful bunch of catalog builds and built that. That's, pretty, that's actually pretty clever. I really like that. So, in here you got a kitchen. I'm just going to zoom through the whole thing. This is, maybe I'll just do this in another video, but... You got your classical JP Shiftmaster sort of compact interior. You know, this is uh so one thing I really like about JP's builds is that it kind of really revives the old walk style of building. Nowadays, you know, a lot of builds on World of Kraus as well as the realism game itself with you know builds creative and UTB and RCS, all that, maybe Cube Creative is that, you know, the scale is becoming larger, and, you know, it, the realism sort of fades out when things become larger. Like, if you're in this room right here, and, you know, we'll see, I'm a little, okay, there we go. I'm almost the size of this bed, and it looks like I could sleep in this bed, but, like, in a normal scenario, when you look at the other houses, you know, that I've seen in a showcase, beds are, like, twice the size of this, and it's pretty crazy. But JP kind of keeps this cozy feeling, and that's really unique. Not a lot of builders keep that anymore. I don't have that sort of trait anymore. But as you can see, not easy. You know, this doesn't look a day older than, you know, 2015. So that is the rectory. I can't find a way out of here, so I'm just going to punch a wall out. But that is basically the entire church compound here. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the suburban traditional church here basically concludes our entire showcase i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do be sure to check out some of my other showcases on world of Krells. i do have another showcase from a few days ago check that out pretty cool library by ofri but other than that be sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video